Dalton and the guys are putting on a charity car wash deal there, and uh, my car was, uh, yeah, it wasn't really filthy. It had a little dust on her, and I thought, might as well support a local charity. And I like they never set the price on these, so you just, whatever you give them, they're usually thankful to get. I, I figured a, a loony would probably be pretty grateful for that. And then uh, Dalton, said, Dalton calls everybody off, saying, apparently, I didn't, the loony didn't qualify for the full treatment, and uh, that's apparently all I, apparently all I got. So. So I figured I better take her up a notch or two, and uh, this, this would be my annual giving here. That Canadian 20, it's about a American one or two, I believe. And so away they go, and uh, Walter's soaping her up, and Winston's got the vacuum cleaner, and yeah, there was some stuff in there. Just a, just a little, just gonna fill that baby up pretty fast, I think. And uh, just a lot of. So I haven't really cleaned the car out as often as I should. Oh, there's okay. We need a little more water pressure. So Dalton's saying to me, would I? Well, then I, w I had never actually seen the, the type of valve they were using. I wasn't, no, I was expecting to. Anyway, I just pulled her back, and there's a lot of pressure in there. And, uh, and then, unfortunately, the handle come right off, and now the hose is... And now a hose can, da can dance on it, starts banging on the door. And Winston thinks somebody's knocking for him. So, so anyway, he's getting the inside of her, and the vacuum cleaner's really taking it. It's getting a little bit bigger there, I know. It's just, Taking on a fair bit of stuff, and Walter's got her hose. Now it's time to do the rinsing, so Dalton names the hose. Something went wrong with the nozzle. She's uh, shooting at a kind of a 90 degree to the to the right there, and uh, kind of like the Alliance party. And uh, so then Walter gets the idea. If he stands here, now if Dalton names at him, then it'll go sideways, and it'll rinse off the car. And Dalton's hesitant to do it, but, you know, Walter, Walter's insisting. He finally understands it, so, but apparently it didn't. Whatever it was, it, it, uh, it cleared itself out. So later that day, uh, Winston pretty much had her full, but by now the vacuum cleaning, we're really, stra uh, really straining the limits of that particular unit. Uh, she's getting to be a real good size. And I figured I just, I'd had enough. Uh, and so I thought I would just rinse off, rinse off the car on my own. And while I was rinsing off the car, there's always time for a little bit of fun. <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, I love hoses, yeah. So I got the soap off of there, and oh, I said, thank you very much. That's 20 bucks worth, as far as I'm concerned. I'm a happy man. I'm just gonna just get Winston out of there. Winston, just clear out. Out you go, where you go, where you go, where you go. Oh boy, that baby's. I didn't realize that the door slam would. Okay, didn't gain that much, did I? Hey, uh, I want to tell you about my brand new book. Uh, it's my woulda, coulda, shoulda guide to Canadian inventions. There's got some, we got some real inventions in here, important stuff, you know, like IMAX and the cardiac pacemaker and insulins, great stuff like that. But there, there are also some woulda, coulda, shoulda inventions, things that should have been invented that weren't. Uh, one guy created lunar panels, for example. We got a sewage cannon in here. Stuff you you wouldn't have heard about and probably preferred it that way, but you're going to get them in this book. It's also available as an audio book if you like listening more than you like holding. But whatever way you want it, it's available. And you can get it at Chapters. You can get it at Amazon. You can get it anywhere books are sold. And uh, I guess a couple places that they aren't. Check it out. My woulda, coulda, shoulda guide to Canadian inventions.